So I'm someone that does not work with JavaScript directly on a daily basis. I do work with TypeScript uh, in the front end quite frequently, but I wouldn't call it my primary language or anything near that these days. And uh, I have been kind of away from the JavaScript ecosystem for a while, so I kind of watch it from afar on Twitter. Uh, I stay up to date on Dac. I run some JavaScript, like I said, on my day job. But I've, I've, I've been thinking about something which is, and don't throw anything at me, why does JavaScript fail at the same time so advanced, but also behind other ecosystems? And what I mean with this is, we clearly have a lot of very capable smart folks on the JavaScript ecosystem. We have Jared Sumner, we have the folks at Frisau. Just look at the runtimes. We have Node, we have Deno, we have a Bun, and you have to be very smart to be able to do these things. It's it's not just anyone that can do that. Uh, we have fantastic front end frameworks. We have React, we have Vue, we have Svelte, and they are all really, really good. They're really well made. We have very smart folks in, in JavaScript. Now, on the other hand, when I compare the, the JavaScript ecosystem with the ecosystems that I'm a part of, which is primarily Laravel, but also to some extent, uh, Rails and Phoenix, that is Elixir. Th those are the three ecosystems that I pay attention to, Laravel and Symfony, uh, Rails and Phoenix. It also feels like JavaScript is behind. So it feels like you have very smart folks building things, you know, frameworks, libraries, runtimes, uh, stuff like, you know, clerk for authentication, that kind of thing. But it feels like the ecosystem is not cohesive. Sorry, I had to go get some pizza, but going back to the thought, and I, I'm sure there's a more eloquent way to put this, but it feels like, you know, um, when we talk about an ecosystem, when I'm talking about Laravel or Symfony Rails, I'm not talking just about the Laravel framework package, the skeleton. I'm talking about everything that encompasses Laravel, including first party and third party packages. So in Laravel specifically, and I'm, I'm gonna use Laravel as a reference because that's what I've been using daily for a few years now, is that um, you have a whole suite of first party tools. So you have authentication, you have billing, you have queue stuff, you have uh, Post, which was just recently released. You have uh, scaffolding for for SaaS, you have team management, all of that. We have so many things that I cannot list them from the top of my head. The same goes with Symfony, you have lots of building blocks. The same goes with Rails, with Phoenix. Um, so the total is, is greater than the sum of its parts, you know? Now, when I, when I say this, what I mean is, let's take Laravel for an example. I just recently uh, submitted a pull request that added a feature to event dispatching that talked to database transactions. So you have that connection between different components and that's possible because they are made by the same person. They're part of the same framework. So I can make the, you know, the event piece talk to the database piece to do something that's magical, that's really cool. Uh, whereas if you're just pulling packages from different vendors, you would have to write that glue code yourself and maybe you wouldn't even be able to do that. You wouldn't be able to extend the underlying code to do what you want. And that's, as an outsider, what I feel with the JavaScript community. You have those really good, really well-made packages, but they do not have an ecosystem. You have to plug all of them and you have to write the glue code and you have to connect all of them and now you're bound to different maintainers and they might release in different schedules and you might not be able to get as much integration as you would in a full stack framework. I don't know what that is. I, I thought about that for a while. Uh, we have Versal building a lot of really interesting stuff. We have Blitz.js, so we have Astro. We have really, really amazing folks doing really amazing things, but at least from the outside and from some attempts, I've like I said, I try to keep up with the industry, so I've, I've tried some stuff. It feels like the ecosystem is not really cohesive. It feels like the components do not talk to each other as well as they could. An interesting phenomenon that I'm seeing is, is people trying Laravel and, and loving it, and I'm, I'm seeing that all the time on Twitter. Um, we usually think that the grass is greener on the other side, but this time I actually think the grass is greener on my side. I really think the Laravel excels on lots of things and people are finally noticing. People from other ecosystems are saying, okay, this is PHP, but this is pretty cool and we don't have that in our ecosystem. At the same time, I see 
things like Adonis JS, which is pretty much Laravel in JavaScript. And uh, I see people, well, first of all, not using it, not using it a lot at least. And from my understanding, that's because there were lots of breaking changes in recent versions. So people, um, you know, are afraid to use that. But why is that the JavaScript folks do not like full stack frameworks? Why would you not want a framework that, you know, is better is included, that comes with authentication, with key, with events, with all of that stuff for free? Because that's something that I love in Laravel. It already ships with all the building blocks for you to build a big web application. You need queues, you have it. You need events, you have that. You need an ORM. You have that. You need a query builder. Uh, query. Okay, I don't know how to speak English anymore. Query builder. You have that as well. Um, so I think I'm just going in circles now. But uh, I think that's what I've been noticing for a while now. It feels like individually you have lots of really amazing things on JavaScript land. You have really well made packages and libraries and you know runtimes and whatnot. But it feels like the ecosystem itself, th those packages do not talk well to one another. And that's what I feel is missing in the in the JavaScript community. Now, I could be wrong. This could be a totally, you know, inaccurate view from my side. But that's what I've been noticing. And, and that's what I have also been noticing with people coming from other ecosystems into Laravel or even Rails. Uh, when you realize that you have frameworks that already give you a lot of things out of the box, um, it's it's pretty interesting to see folks' reactions. So I, I don't know, that's just a thought I've, I've had in my mind for a while, and I wanted to put this into a video and see what other people think. Um, but I don't know, from the outside, and uh, I think that's interesting because if, if you're in the inside, like I'm in the Laravel community, so I'm biased towards certain things. And sometimes people would come to me and say, hey, this would be pretty cool. And that's coming from someone who's, you know, uh, who doesn't use it daily, who's not biased, um, you have those different insights. So as someone who doesn't use those frameworks daily, uh, at least not most of them, and is not a part of the JavaScript community, I would say, it, it feels like that's something that JavaScript, that, you know, the community could improve. If you had packages be more consistent and cohesive with one another and, you know, have full stack frameworks that ship with everything that you need to build a web application, I think that would make JavaScript a lot more interesting. Not that it isn't, it's definitely, it's probably the most, you know, interesting language right now when it comes to web applications. Um, but I, I think that's something that's missing, at least from the outside, that's how I feel about it. With that said, I could be wrong. That, that could be, I could have a t totally inaccurate view of the situation. And maybe I'm just making a fool of myself. But uh, that, that's what I think. Um, to be clear, I'm not bashing on JavaScript by any means. I think, like I said, I'm just going to reiterate on this. Lots of amazing things are being built by folks on the JavaScript side of things. You know, um, Vercel by itself is doing a lot of innovation. But I also feel like the ecosystem is not cohesive. And I think that's something that could be improved. And uh, I actually like writing TypeScript. So... Uh, I'm not, I'm not against it by any means. I am in favor of it. But anyway, that's, that's what I had in mind. I just wanted to share that with you all and, um, you know, expose my thoughts. I don't do this kind of video frequently. It's, I, I do mostly technical videos. Um, but sometimes I want to get some thoughts out of my head and see what other people think and, and maybe share my opinions. Maybe someone will, will say, hey, this guy actually makes sense. Maybe they won't. Maybe they just say I'm done and I don't know what I'm talking about. But Either way, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you all. And uh, now I'm going to go eat some pizza and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.